Welcome to Classic Car Cave. This is just a, a quick, quick update on the hood frame. So this is my Bible, um, built from Bernard Viat, uh, Jaguar X50 Explored. And you can see this is the uh, drop head coupe, which is, has the kind of jump seats in the back. It's much bigger, uh, it's much more um, refined inside, obviously. It's got nice felt in it. and and so on and so forth, but it does stick up over the car. And this is why I always like the roads to the best, because all of this is much smaller here, as you can see. Uh, these are some beautiful drawings in these books, um, the guy does. Um, and the great thing about this is, is it folds completely, so you pull the seats forward, and the whole thing goes underneath, so you can't see the hood at all. Um, this is a car from America that was done, and you can see the, the frame itself. <clears throat> So, I'll take you over to the car, and I'd completely forgotten, because I've had the car so long now, and I stopped working on it for a couple of years, uh, doing other people's cars, E-types and, and XKs and whatever. So, I'd forgotten that when I bought the car, there was no hood frame with it. So, when I ordered all the parts, um, I ordered a new hood frame. Now, obviously, this is galvanised, and it needs to be painted at some point. Um, and a new wood front strip on it there, as you can see. Uh, we just shut this off. If I can. Yeah. yeah. And you can see, obviously, it's not fitting particularly well. That's all got to be shaped. Uh, the problem I've got now, obviously, is I don't have any of the the hinge stuff that actually makes it hinge in the first place. Okay. Now I've got some comments on the uh, on the seats. Um, the bottom line is, is we want to tour Europe in this car. You know, my wife's over 70 and I'm six, coming up for 67. And we just need some comfort. Now, it's fairly obvious if you look there that the headrests are not going to work when the hood is 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 uh, on the car. So the headrest is going to be, you know, you, you can imagine the headrest there. It's going to catch. So what we'll do, um, because they, they're detachable, we'll just put them in the boot um, when we've got the hood up and I'll put them in when we're actually cruising and the top's down which is a perfect situation. Uh, a lot of people mentioned about the uh, airbags, you can see it says airbag on the side so they've obviously got an airbag on them. I don't want them in um, and it might cause troubles with the turf as well so I'll have those disarmed or taken out if we recover them. Um, um, so I've got one of these seats, the other seat, I've got it in the back of my Mercedes and I'm taking it to an auto electrician tomorrow and see if he can make me up a plug to at least operate the, the seat so we can check um, how much it reclines forwards and backwards and, uh, and all the functions basically. I'm sure he can make something out for me, some kind of trip switch on a battery and then we'll check it out. So that'll be, that'll be the way to go. You know, the bottom line with this is, if you're building the rest of this for restoring a car for yourself, I don't build, you know, show cars. I have the E-Type e Jaguar 66 that I have is probably show standard, I would think, but I'm not interested in shows. I'm not interested in trailer queens. I want to drive them. Um, although, saying that, I am taking my E-Type to um, Salzburg for the 60th anniversary of the E-Type because I was asked by the club to put it on the stand, so I will. But going to a show just does not interest me whatsoever. Um, it's just a bunch of prats who, who have checkbook cars who, who do know nothing about it, but wouldn't know a set of plugs from a from a from a set of points. But anyway, <clears throat> I mean, there's a lot of good people. Don't get me wrong, and people want to show their cars. Like, That's fine. I have no issue with it, but it's not for me. Anyway, going back to it. So I found a few pieces. So. This is actually, this is the weight that goes in the back of the hood. When the hood comes up here, this goes in the back and there's like a, a chrome latch and obviously these, these slide into that chrome latch to put some weight on it when you tension the car up, or when you tension up the hood. So as I say, this is brand new, fortunately. That piece of wood is brand new, so I've got to shape it all. And what I need to do now is get, get by the fittings and, uh, and check out some things. This piece here, is a bit strange. I think it actually attaches somewhere on here. Excuse me. Is that focusing? I think it attaches somewhere on the back here, and I think it's a tensioner for this leather that goes here. There's a bit of leather that goes all the way over across the top of the car, which stays there all the time. And I think this tensions it in some way. If anybody knows, 
you know, this is the first hex car I've ever restored. I did a second one, but we've not got it to this point. So this is a bit of a jigsaw puzzle for me. So if anybody can help out and tell me, this obviously hinges and I think it goes here somehow. And then you pull it back to drop this down and then pull it forward maybe to tension it, but the wood's rotten in it, it's delaminating. But the metal frame seems okay, so we'll sandblast that and take this and get a new wood piece. But that's where we're at, so I'll take you around. Uh, so to say, just a very quick update. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see if it works. But those those seats would absolutely work in there. Um, they've got steel pins at the moment, which are making them sit upright, so they would go further back. But I think they'll do the job. Anyway, that's where we're at. Um, and uh, we'll give you another update next weekend. But I just thought I'd give you an update on how this hood is going to look and you know so on and so forth but not, I'm not absolutely sure how it goes together so if there's anybody out there that knows these uh, uh, home two-seaters or roadsters um, and how everything fits and works please uh, let me know oh, by the way my email I've got a problem with my laptop my uh, Mac and my email is not working the Dave Jaguar 66 so I, may, I might have to make a new completely new one up I don't know but anyway um, have a good weekend, take care and we'll see you in the next video next week. Bye for now.